Biden will forgive $9 billion more in student loan debt with a rule tweak. So let's check this out. President Biden said Wednesday that his administration is forgiving $9 billion in student loan debt through existing programs as part of a broader push to chip away at the effects of the Supreme Court's June ruling, axing his plan to wipe away $430 billion in college debt. I'm announcing my administration has approved an additional $9 billion in relief for 125,000 borrowers in just the past few weeks, Biden said at his only public event of the day at the White House. With the latest debt cancellation in total, my administration has canceled $127 billion in student debts for nearly 3.6 million Americans. Now, the interesting thing about this is like, a lot of these like debt cancellations is basically things that should have already happened, right? Like there's so many people that were paying on student loans that were already in programs where they should have been forgiven, where like they did like public service, like you know where like you'd serve like 20 plus years in like public service, meaning that you were earning less money than market rate for 20 plus years. To wipe away your debt, and they didn't wipe away your debt, right? But now some of those people are getting their debt wiped out. So again, like this is all more like a political move. Like this sort of stuff should have already happened. The latest nine billion in debt relief was the result of three changes to ensure that people already eligible for loan forgiveness under existing programs actually got the money wiped from their balance sheets, the White House said. Biden has routinely touted such steps as he courts younger voters going into next year's election after receiving criticism for not doing more to fulfill his campaign pledges of relief, and his latest moves didn't satisfy those critics. Like Again, like people need to understand, like this whole debt forgiveness thing that they're touting, like they're celebrating, like, oh, we are such an amazing, you know, organization party, whatever, right, administration, all of this just crap. Like, any president that basically says this sort of stuff, or any administration, any political person that is, like, touting, oh, we're forgiving student loans, no, they're not, because all of this stuff should have already happened, right? Astra Taylor, co-founder of the Debt Collective Group, told CNBC Wednesday, that if the Department of Education can cancel this amount, it can cancel it all, meeting and exceeding the president's commitment to borrowers currently being crushed by the chaotic return to payment. Now, something other people need to really understand, or people in general. Student loans, as a whole, will never be wiped out. And the reason for that is that the United States government basically views the student loan payments as basically an asset. And it's like 50% of what they're relying on for like income of like the GDP in a way. Like it's kind of crazy when you think about it where like, like the largest asset category as to what provides money to fund politicians, fund cops, fund public schools, fund all this sort of stuff, right? Fund every single pretty much aspect of these like three-letter agencies are the student loan programs because, again, they're not bankruptable, so you are having to pay it, period, and they could just take your wages if you don't pay it. Or they could imprison you, but basically they want that payment. Like they're relying on that payment. Because you got to keep in mind, like a crazy amount of people have student loans, and so that's recurring revenue for the United States government at a pretty high interest rate per month. Okay. Just think about that. Like, I think like the minimum payment for student loan borrowers are like I think about. 400 to 600 bucks per month, like the average. So times that by 
millions and millions and millions of people. And that's how much revenue is getting brought in per month from student loan payments. And that's been on hold for like the past two, three years, right? So think about it. The government has been losing out on crazy amounts of money. Now they're going to get it kicked back in. And you really think that the government is going to just completely get rid of a massive asset class, a massive income producing category that will fund foreign wars, fund the three letter agencies, fund the government as a whole, fund public schools, roads, etc. It's like, no, they're not going to wipe that out. And they're going to constantly provide more and more loans. So student loans as a whole will never, ever be wiped away. So Republican administrators, uh, Republican administrations have pushed forward their own plans for student debt write-offs. Some GOP critics say that forgiveness is unfair to borrowers who repaid the cost of their education and to taxpayers who opted not to attend college which I agree, right? Now, in my mind, when it comes to like student loans, I feel like if the government was going to give student loans, the way that they should do it is to have it at 0%. Like if you really wanted it to be used to the benefit of these individuals, you would have it at 0%. But of course, they're not going to do that because they want to make money off of you. And like the scariest part about student loans is not necessarily that they can't get like bankruptable, right? It's the fact that if you don't get a job, right, that can afford to pay the bill, and if you don't start putting money on top of the minimum to pay it down, right, meaning you're trying to actually pay it off, like if you don't get into the habit of trying to pay off your student loan debt, it gets to the point where 10 years down the line, let's say that you started off with like a $40,000 student loan debt, because of the interest rates, because of the way that they're structured, because of the pro- the program that you might be in, right, that $40,000, 10 years down the line, might be worth 80, right? It might literally double in cost, Right, you might not have even touched the principal of the actual student loans. So you could have, over those ten years, have paid forty thousand dollars, but still owe eighty thousand dollars, even though your original student loan was only for forty k. So you've already paid the amount of money that you thought you took out, but because of the interest rate, you're basically getting slapped around and treated like in a like. You're like a domestic violence victim. Like, it's crazy. But people need to understand that. It's like, it's not, like, student loans, the biggest issue isn't the fact that these, like, these loans are giving out, are given out, or that, you know, you can't, you know, wipe it away through bankruptcy. It's the interest rate. The interest rate completely screws over these people. So Joe Biden's student loan bailout for the wealthy was already struck down by the Supreme Court. Now he is trying to save face by canceling debt for a few while families struggle to afford Bidenomics. Republican National Committee Chairwoman Ronna Romney McDaniel said Wednesday, Biden's desperate vote grabs won't cover for sky-high inflation and failed economic policies. And you got a whole bunch of people saying Kansas stood in debt now. (sighs) It's sad. Like, the saddest thing to me about this whole, like, like, canceling student student loan debt and all that kind of stuff, this whole fiasco, is that you had people who truly believed that the government was going to help them, where they were going to, like, actually cancel their student debt like you had people believe that and they just got completely screwed over and again all these people that are getting like these student loan debt forgiveness should have already gotten it 
So Biden announced his far more ambitious plan to forgive up to $10,000 in student debt for all borrowers or double that amount for low-income Pell Grant recipients in August 2022, ahead of last year's midterm elections, despite what fellow Democrats, including then-House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, acknowledged were long legal odds. The majority of the amount from Wednesday's announcement, $5.2 billion, goes toward 53,000 public service workers eligible for loan forgiveness under the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program, which was created in 2007 through legislation signed by President George W. Bush. But again, like I keep mentioning, this should have already happened. Because basically what went on all the time is like, you had like, I think like, a hundred thousand plus people get into this uh, public service thing, right? Like you had a crazy large amount of people get into this program. But the problem with this program is that if you didn't cross your T's or didn't dot your I's exactly right over 20 plus years, you basically would not have been able to wipe out your debt. So like, Imagine working a job purposely that pays you less than what you could have made by a good amount. So like, for example, let's say that you, instead of making like $100,000 a year, you decided to work fifty or $60,000 a year for the public service thing to wipe out your student loan debt. So over the next 20 years, you're making a crazy amount of money less than what you could have, where you could have paid off your student loan debt within that time yourself, versus you go through 20 years, the interest is growing on that student loan debt. So like, again, let's say that you had like 40K, which was what you like started off with. You go with the whole like student loan forgiveness thing. But for the next 20 years, your amount of money that you owe just keeps growing for like 20 years, and it doesn't get paid off. So you originally only owed 40. Now you might owe like 200, 250 or whatever. Like those people should have already gotten their student loans forgiven because they went through this program. But like it was only like 1%, 2% who actually went through this program and completed it I actually got the forgiveness. So this thing was like a f- massive fraud by the student loan, uh, by the government. So this should have, again, already happened. The PSLF program allows loans to be forgiven after 10 years of payments, with the effect set to have taken effect beginning in 2017. Student loan payments were suspended at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, and the relief program has been criticized, criticized for being poorly implemented in the meantime. By the time I took office, the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program had been in place for nearly 15 years. Because of red tape, only 7,000 borrowers had been helped. Biden said Wednesday, well today, thanks to reforms, more than 700,000 borrowers have had their debts forgiven. Now, I don't know if it's actually truly happened yet, but I think they're planning on getting this through, if they can actually get it through. But again, this stuff should have already happened. So another $2.8 billion in new debt relief applied to about 51,000 former college students through existing income-driven repayment plans that cap the amount of income that goes toward loan payments, the White House said. The remaining $1.2 billion went toward roughly 22,000 eligible borrowers with total or permanent disability through cross-checking Social Security Administration data. Biden previously announced various other efforts to address red tape and existing student loan repayment programs, as well as forgiveness of loans for students who were victims of allegedly fraudulent educational institutions, including a $6 billion dollar debt cancellation in June for about 200,000 former students of largely for-profit schools that weren't actually accredited. So you would go through the school, pay a massive amount of tuition, get this debt, 
but not actually have true credits. <laughs> like, you wouldn't actually be able to get your degree, which is kind of sad. So let's see some of these comments. You sabotage, uh, sabotage any system for the sake of buying a few more votes. Shameless. The thing is, I mean, all this stuff should have already happened. This is more so like a publicity stunt. I paid off my loan like a good borrower. Now I want a full refund. Let's see. And again, like, here's the thing. Like, personally, I'm not too mad about this specific student loan forgiveness because, again, I keep re-saying it. All of this stuff, this whole, like, nine billion, whatever, again, should have already happened. Like, this forgiveness stuff, this specific thing, should have already happened. People were already going through programs and completed programs, but got denied after completing the programs, after doing what they were supposed to do, right? So, like, imagine, like, you. You say, like, hey, if you go do this thing for 10, 20 years, and you do it correctly, we will forgive your debt, right? And let's say that you actually go and finish that whole thing. You completed your end of the bargain, so you're supposed to get your stuff forgiven, canceled, right? But the person goes like, nah, sorry, we're not going to do that for you. You just got to pay us back anyways. Even though you did everything everything that we told you to do for those 20 years, you still owe us, right? So it's just kind of sad when you think about it. Now, I see, like, again, like, a lot of people are getting pissed off, but I don't think a lot of people are actually, like, reading past the headline, right? Like, if you read past the headline, you would see that all this stuff that's getting forgiven, again, I keep saying this over and over again, like a broken record, should have already happened. But yeah, a lot of people are, like, just slamming him and whatnot. Yeah, a lot of people are not liking this at all. Yeah. Again, I think people are just, like, reading the headline. If you stumble upon this... Don't just, like, look at the headline. Like, pay attention to what's actually going on. The reality is that this is a, pub, like, publicity stunt. And really, it shows how corrupt the government actually is. Because the government basically told all these people, like, hey, if you go do something, we'll help you out. But they didn't. And didn't. And didn't. For years. And then said, oh, maybe potentially we might be able to pass this through, right? Because they haven't actually forgiven it yet, right? They're planning on forgiving it, even though it should have already been forgiven, but they're trying to make a plan to pass it through. It's just, it's crazy. This whole thing is, again, just to get votes or whatever. <laughs> 